Copper is the essential metal for modern society. It's the electrification metal, and it's in short supply. Since the 1990s, per capita copper consumption has risen along with global GDP. In the coming decades, that's expected to accelerate significantly. The amount of copper needed to meet projected demand from 2022 to 2050 is more than all the copper used from 1900 to 2021. This sizable incremental demand growth is driven by energy transition applications. These technologies include electric vehicles, solar, wind, and battery storage, which all have high copper intensity. While for nuclear and wind, the copper intensity is moderate, and for hydrogen, the intensity is low. Let's examine automobile transport and the intensity of copper in electric vehicles. For an internal combustion vehicle of any size, there is approximately 24 kilograms of copper. In a light-duty EV, it's 60 kilograms. A medium-duty EV has 139 kilograms, and a heavy-duty EV has 425 kilograms. The S&P Global study found copper shortfalls begin in 2025 as a result of increased demand from the energy transition and limited new copper supply. Their rocky road scenario assumes that current mine supply and recycling trends continue, resulting in a 10 million metric ton shortfall by 2035. Even in the high ambition scenario, assuming significant enhancement in extraction and recycling rates, the shortfall persists until 2035. This is clearly a very attractive macro backdrop for copper miners. We screened for value among copper miners. London Mining is the cheapest large cap, trading at a 50% blended valuation discount to peers, and Sierra Meadows is the cheapest small cap, trading at an 80% blended valuation discount. Additionally, both companies offer very attractive dividend yields. London Mining offers investors significant geographic diversification in stable jurisdictions, coupled with strong copper metal production. Sierra Meadows has a significant production growth runway ahead, with tonnage per day capacity expected to be 15,500 by 2027, representing 65% growth from 2020. 